right, with well, Mark de Kock, unfortunately, he won't be here on Saturday um, our, on our big champions meeting. He's off to Australia uh, for the sales. Mark, you've got a lot of runners on the day. Um, I know your team's going to be available for, I mean, you're not going to be there, but uh, you've got a top team that's going to be looking after your horses. Um, good couple of runners. Let's start with race one, Inguele with Richard Furion. Yeah, Johnny, it's going to be a pretty to miss the day, but um, uh, it normally used to uh, coincide, the race meeting coincide with the Dubai World Cup, but I think possibly got pushed out for the World Pools event, which is fair enough. But unfortunate clashes with a sale in Australia, which I'll be attending to, to help uh, Matthew and Robbie uh, strengthen the yard there. So, um, Inguine, I think, is going. To, he's quite a nice horse but in my opinion is going to lack uh, experience. I think it's a fairly competitive field. Uh, I think you'll be better off for the run. Then race four in the Hawaii Stakes, you've got uh, the, un the, the lightly race import Mujba and uh, White Pill. Let's start with Mujba. I yeah. thought his first, sorry, Mark, I thought his uh, first run wasn't a bad run. I quite like this horse. You know, he's, I mean, at the ratings really, he's got a lot to do. Um, it is his second run and, and um, he was problematic in the UK, and he's been, he's been quite he's been okay, yeah. But we haven't really been too tough on him, so I think he's still got, I think he's still a run short of his best. Um, but uh, he, it wouldn't shock me to see him flash flash home into a place. White Pearl has just been the the most unlucky filly ever. Um, she really deserves a good stake race. I think fourteen hundred's her best trip. She's drawn well. I like where she's weighted. I mean, if one just goes on race rating, she's probably. Uh, two pounds in it with her and um, Sandringham Summit, which I'm presuming will start as favourite. I would leave her out of nothing. I think she's a huge runner and uh, the filly is, is really, really well and she's over her best trip. Then we go to race five, the Oaks, uh, Silver Sanctuary. Richard's um, um, keeping the ride. Um, and unfortunately, she's found, uh, give me another in the last two starts, but she must be in with a massive chance. Yeah, she's unlucky that she was born in the same year as Give Me, a, Give Me Another, and it's unfortunately had to be bridesmaid to her twice. But that doesn't take away from her ability. She was um, also just beaten in the Guineas in Cape Town. I mean, she's 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 been on the go for a long while, but she's she's quite a tough filly, this. I mean, on ratings, there's not much between the, the top, the one, two, and the three. Um, there's only two pounds in it. Um, and I believe that these three will probably dominate um, because there's a lot of sort of really low-rated horses down the bottom end. Michael, she's a uh, bread to stay, right? Am I, am I right in saying she's that? actually a full sister to Safe Passage. Um, so I, I don't believe Trip's any problem with her. And the way she kicks late, um, one's got to be confident of her staying. Then race six, obviously, um, our big filly, uh, you've got Gimme Another and Humdinger. Let's start with Humdinger first, and then we can go on to uh, Gimme Another. Yeah, well, I mean, you couldn't really get a more solid, sound, tougher filly than this uh, in training. So uh, she's she's always thereabouts. I like the way Pierre rides her. Um, you know, obviously she's got a bit to find on Gimme Another. But if Gimme Another fluffs her lines, this filly will be all over them. She's really, really well. Um, at the ratings, uh, you know, she looks sort of second best. Um, but really tough. Uh, it's not her best trip a mile, but if she gets to the front, she gets a soft lead. She gets a mile, uh, just. Um, but obviously a very tough filly. I thought Pierre, when he rode her in the mile, gave her a good ride that she just got beat. He gave her, he gave her a great ride. I mean, she, we, we couldn't have asked for anything better. Perfect. Thank you very much. And then obviously we get to the computer form sprint. You got Ifico. Consistent filly, eh? She's always there or there about. I know it's, it's not a very, very strong race, but there's a lot of good hard-knocking horses in there. Yeah, look, you've got Thunderstruck Dice. They look like the the two, um, especially where the, both of them are drawn. They, they've got pole position in terms of draws. Um, she's very quick. If the ground's on top, she's going to rattle, and I, there's very few that will go with her early. You know, it's whether she can maintain that all the way to the line. She definitely is a filly that um, cannot be left out of anything and uh, a must for quartets, trifectas, etc. Unfortunately, the, the 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 weather forecast. I know it's 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 for it's uh, it's it's a long forecast. They are expecting rain on the day, between uh, two o'clock in the morning and two o'clock in the afternoon. I just hope the weatherman has got it all wrong. Well, I mean, if it does rain, the outside draws become, become even more important. Become even more important. Opinion, yeah. Absolutely.